the Food Bomb. I'm Addie. And I'm Haley. Today we're going to be talking about what the guys are talking about, about cow pits. Let's <laughs> see how many times I can say about. Anyways. <laughs> so today the guys are talking about how the British food versus like the continental type of food and how the Americans had more than the British did. So what the British had is they barely had anything. They basically had like Johnny cakes or fire cakes. They have many different names. Ho cakes. What'd you call me? <laughs> you ho. Well, on the other hand, <laughs> the Americans had a lot more than the British did. They had a lot more time to eat because what the British is they just straight up woke up and left. And they uh, had meat. Well, the Americans did. So the Americans had beef and all this, all this good stuff. And another one of the things that they might have eaten in that time is Sally Lund bread. And this is what you see on the board before you. And the two other different things are uh, blackberry jam, because jams and different preserves are very popular during that time because they're very well kept. And the other one is uh, farmer's cheese, um, which is basically ricotta cheese. I mean, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> is there a... <laughs> Like, I can't fight you on that one. One theory is that the Sally Lund bread is named after the French words for sun and moon. Soleil et lune. This side would be the sun and the moon. The white part. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's really interesting, Haley. <laughs> the white part's the moon. <laughs> What's so funny? Mm. I think she had a little bit more to drink. Anyways, <laughs> another, there are uh, multiple theories that go along with that one. They're kind of all related. But one of the ones is that this came from the Sally Lunn Eatery in <laughs> Bath, England. And the bread was kind of invented there. And another one was that it was taken over by a French refugee, um, Solange Louion, because she had to flee since she was a Huguenot, um, so there was a bunch of religious persecution going on in France. And so it was said that she brought this recipe over with her. Um, and it's kind of a, a simple recipe, so that's why they probably you know, really came up though. with it. Yeah, it's kind of like a sweet bread, so it's something a little bit sweeter to eat rather than most of the savory kinds of breads that they had. Well, how is it, Haley? I'm really loving it. I'm just trying to eat it without a knife. I'm not gonna give you a knife. But I needed one. Yeah, you're not getting one. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> I think my theory is the right one, but I guess we never know. Let us know which theory you think is correct. <laughs> Join us next week when we talk about whatever they're talking about. Every evening when the sun goes down, give up my party and I begin to clown. I don't care what the people I think. I'm not drunk, I'm just a drinking. Set them up, another round. Set them up. I'm not drunk, I'm just a drinking. Set him up.